Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about CP Product. It's in the rotation for the UGC. It's the pro version of Viaduct. Today I'm going to show you some quickly edited sum ups points for the engineer. Sentry spots, teleporter spots, dispenser spots. I'll also show a few routes for the soldier and spy that you should look out for on your watch. Good day. So to start the round, when you're going to come out of spawn, you've got the resupply cabinet right here. So as you come out, you can place a teleporter, touch the cabinet, and immediately run out, and it's for free. This is a decent teleporter spot, but not ideal. If the enemy team has point control and you're afraid of both cliff and fence being pushed, this can be a quick teleporter spot you can set up, but probably not the most safest. This is my favorite teleporter spot in general. It's got the hide advantage of having cliff, so when people come out, they can quickly survey the area. Unless you get forward holded by the enemy team, or the soldier is very good at bombing, it's not going to be under attack too much. Also look out for the scout pushing the back line around here, or the spy. Generally the spy at the start of the round will often run the cliff, or to get into house. So when you're at the start of the round setting up stuff, be sure to come back here, replenish your ammo at the pack, and look out for a spy. This is the standard dispenser spot for this map. It's pretty decent because you can stand here and here and get ammo and health, which means that you can generally help your team stay at the front lines longer. You want to have a dispenser at least between the first uber exchange and the second uber exchange because it keeps your pyro fully stocked on ammo as well as your heavy, which means you can carry on fighting and spy checking and such. If people have to run back for ammo after spy checking and such, then you just lose general point presence and you could probably lose the entire point off of that. So getting a dispenser up on this point is a priority. I personally prefer this dispenser spot. It's still near the point, but it's generally safer. Because of this hill here and this kind of little pocket here, when a demo is spamming pills, pills will tend to roll down to this area and destroy the dispenser. Also, if you've got a lot of low health teammates, they'll tend to clump around this area so the demo can just push forward on this concrete bit and spam out your team. Having your dispenser here may lose a little bit of point control on the right, but your flank should be holding the concrete anyway, so this area shouldn't be contested as much with that dispenser on that side. The dispenser is also on an uphill area as it slopes down, so it will very rarely be killed by rollers unless directly attacked by the demo man. Once you've lost the point, look out for the heavy and other combo classes pushing up this rock onto the cliff as anyone by the dispenser would be in danger. This dispenser spot is okay if you're holding the right side. I personally find it quite risky since they can easily push up through Japan here and then attack people on the dispenser and there's very little warning for them. You could put it close to the edge to allow people to stay watching Japan and get healed, but then it leaves it open to getting spammed out. You can also put a teleporter here if your team favours pushing from concrete, but it's also pretty dangerous since once you do lose concrete, anyone who goes through that teleporter will be caught in a dangerous sniper sideline. Some people favour to put the teleporter exit in house, and it's pretty safe since they have to come into house in order to attack it, giving you a nice safe zone to hold. The problem is that spies often head into the enemy house at the start of the round to get this nice vantage point on the back line. If a spy is here, he can easily access the sniper on the cliff or drop down for a sneaky stab, so if he sees a teleporter here, that will be a very easy pick for him. By far the favourite teleporter is the teleporter on Japan, because it's safe, it allows height advantage when coming out, allows you to get straight onto point, and it's very difficult for spies to attack without shooting it. The way you do this is you set up a mini here, which should cover you while you're setting it up. Quickly grab some ammo, or grab some from the pack. Pile your exit, and turn it around, then jump and place it. It may take multiple times, if it takes you more than two times to do it, reevaluate doing it and go somewhere else, because by then the spy should be looking at you. If you've respawned after the first mid-fight, and they have point control, I often favour to put a mini sentry round about this area here. The reason why is if your team is holding around the fence to replenish their supplies, a soldier may bomb through this area here above Japan, and this mini will start shooting them. It also contests the scout and the NG going forward around here. When pushing from this side to the point, put a mini round about on this wooden area. It will shoot over the top of this hill so anyone who gets near will start to get shot at, but 
it won't really be focused unless people are already on the point getting shot by your team. One of the best sentry spots for a midfire is placing it round about here on the point. It can generally shoot everybody and can get shot by a sniper on the side, but that's an easy call out for your sniper. Put it round about this area, since sentries shoot out the top of the model, so putting it lower down on the hill means people have to commit further into the fight in order to shoot it, while just standing on the point will make you an easy target. If you're playing with your flank on the concrete and you've pushed back the soldier and the scout, consider putting a mini sentry in the connector here. This will mean anyone coming from concrete or onto the point will get shot at, and because it has the height advantage of people behind the point, it generally puts them into a worse position when they're trying to contest. When the enemy team has point control and you prefer to play a bit more passive, consider going on your sniper deck, put down the mini sentry and then use the wrangler to harass the area. You won't be able to see a lot of people on the right, so it would have to require further information that they're pushing from the left side. When you've taken point and killed a significant amount of their team, consider having a forward hold of your sentry. Put a mini sentry in this position to hold people coming off the left side, if you plan on holding the cliff. If the enemy is coming from the right side, or Japan, put a mini in this position here. It'll punish people from coming through Japan too eagerly. If they come through concrete and push onto the point, they'll be called out by a sneaky sentry and people coming from this position and not the cliff will be shot at by the mini. This is a generally versatile position that gets used a lot, so make sure you make use of it. If you prefer to play passive by a dispenser, you can put a mini sentry on top of this rock, but it doesn't have very good vision besides the point, and the enemy team has a lot of vision on the sentry, so it will go down very quickly. This mini sentry here is very good for if you know the enemy team are going to push on Japan with a Chris Krieg. It will only really get noticed if they're holding on this right area here by a dispenser and will be taken out very easily. But if you know they're going to push from house or if they're going to rotate from cliff round to here, then they'll get poked by a lot of damage from behind while pushing up, often killing the medic if he's getting bombed. This is also an okay mini sentry to place if you already have point control but haven't capped yet. It generally holds the area down here where the dispenser and the combo holds at the star, which can push them out into a different area, or force them to push from cliff, which makes them more predictable for a Chris Creek. Just a note that mini sentries are extremely fragile and are very easily replaceable. Having a sentry here won't force anyone to do anything, only if consistently placed. Because mini sentries are very important to doing damage in this map, consider placing them first before any other building. Even if you play passive, go to mid, place a mini sentry, and then go do your other things. Once one goes down, replace it. This also means that you should have a dispenser always up. So go for mini sentry, go for dispenser, and generally do teleporter last. Teleporter is generally just to your heavy and your demo and your sniper to get to the mid as quick as possible. This map isn't as big as other maps, but the teleporter is still okay. The dispenser is a priority and your mini sentry is what makes you do things. While it's not very ideal, if you're playing in a lot of lower divisions, generally anything goes. And in this new meta, you may consider using the jag. Now, if you have a dispenser in the safe zone over here, then you can consider placing a sentry here. Not to contest people on the point, but to contest people pushing up your area. If your combo is playing generally passive for a crit's creek and waiting for the crit's bait, you can have this sentry to protect your medic from getting bombed. If your team has just captured the point and wiped out a significant amount of their team, consider moving up your sentry. Your sentry can be replaced once you have a dispenser up in this position and the jag. Because of the Jag's build times, your sentry can easily be replaced as long as you have a fully stocked dispenser. So consider... So try using an aggressive sentry to hold the object. So consider using an aggressive sentry to hold the objective. I generally only use Rescue Ranger when playing a passive style, so I'll tend to use Shotgun if I'm going to go Jag in this map, since it allows me to continue fighting. If you are using Shotgun, then moving up your gun would require rocket hauling, which is pretty difficult. Also consider getting an overheal beforehand. You'll want to do this very quickly since your enemy team can punish you. When you're contesting the point, assuming your demo hasn't already taken it, 
Keep an eye on that ammo pack. If it disappears all of a sudden, a spy has taken it and he may either be pushing around here to get a sneaky stab on the medic, or he could be pushing up on the cliff to get your sniper. You probably don't want to take the route up here because it leaves you open to getting shot, so consider backing up a bit, keeping an eye on your dispenser, taking this pack, keep an eye on your teleporter, and just look out for the spy. Whenever I play Engineer on this map, it's either to be aggressive with the flank or to play the back line and look out for the spy. So make sure you abuse this ammo pack as much as possible and use that opportunity to look for spies. Look out for being stabbed on this hill though, or up on this window. If you know their soldier is pretty adept at rocket jumping or if he's the carry of the team, consider rolling out the right side, placing a mini, place a dispenser, and then pick up the pack so you can place a new mini. He may often speed run straight through here to this side to take your pack and be aggressive on the back line. This mini will then start shooting him as well as you. You may die in this situation if he's good, but the mini should take him out as long as you land your shots. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I tried to make it a lot quicker coming out because I wanted to have this video out right after the first official on Monday so you could immediately see this video and then go into scrims with fresh ideas and hopefully have a good game on product, but stuff got in the way, so this came out as a bit of a rough edit, but anyway, uh, thank you guys, um, I'll try and do another one for the next map if it turns out to be a peculiar map, but anyway, good luck on all your officials, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now.